Bella loves eating fresh and juicy tomatoes from her garden. Let's help Bella take a closer look at her tomato plants. We'll help her learn the names of the different parts of the plant. Okay, here it is. The tomato plant. What you see growing above the ground is the shoot system of the plant. And what you see growing under the ground is the root system of the plant. Can you see the network of roots? In most plants, roots grow under the soil. In some, like the banyan, you'll find them hanging from above. The roots take in water and nutrients from the soil and send them to all the other parts. Nutrients are food for the plants. Roots hold the plants firmly to the soil. What you see here attached to the root but above the ground is the stem. The stem has branches. Some plants like the coconut have just one long stem. Stems are like pipes. They carry food and water to the other parts of the plant. These flat green parts are the leaves. Most plants have green leaves. Plants make their food in the leaves. Leaves of different plants have different shapes and sizes. Oh, what a variety! This beautiful yellow part is the flower. A baby flower is called the bud. Flowers of different plants have different shapes, sizes and colors. Flowers make fruits that hold seeds. Seeds grow into a new plant. Fruits too are of different types. Not all fruits can be eaten. Some are poisonous. Hey, did you know that a vegetable is any part of a plant that can be eaten? It could be the stem, leaf, flower, root or seeds. But it has been formed from a flower. Chilies, bell pepper, tomato, pumpkin, peas, lady's finger and brinjal are all fruits. <laughs>